Uh, thanks, Rand. Thank you. Yes, my name is Mark. Uh, I'm a white guy from the California suburbs. Uh, but I was born in the Midwest, and I started life as a conservative Christian. In fact, I was a Lutheran. Uh, if you don't know what a Lutheran is, it's like a Catholic, but without all the rapiness. <laughs> um, no, now I am a proud sort of atheist lefty, and um, you know I'm sorry, folks. I I I have to pause right here. I had I had um, I had something happen today, and while it was just very upsetting, and um, I think I can't go on until I you know maybe talk about it or get it off my chest. Um, I found out today that my dog um, is a Trump supporter. Uh, <laughs> right? I caught him looking at a website for uh, chewing on. <laughs> and at the dog park today, he was approached by a Labradoodle. And I don't know if you know what a Labradoodle is, but it's half lab and half uh, doodle. And <laughs> he comes up to us and he says, look, we have to keep the chihuahuas out of our neighborhood, okay? They eat our kibble. They bring rabies. I mean, some of them might be good dogs, I assume. But we need to build a fence, a big, beautiful fence to keep the chihuahuas out. Uh, and we make the chihuahuas pay for it, okay? Also, uh, they're sending a huge pack our way, and I have the border collies working on that. <laughs> you know, I was really disturbed. First of all, because I could understand dogs talking, and I wasn't high. <laughs> and secondly... <laughs> this dog was then talking about rounding up all the cats in the neighborhood, right? He was like, <laughs> we're going to go around the streets and we're going to grab all the pussies, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you know, it's just part of what a, you know, shit sandwich 2020 is, right? I mean, it's it's like a shit sandwich with cheese, right? Or as the French would say, a shit sandwich royale. I, I think that's the translation. Uh, I don't know because I only speak un poquito French, you know? Um, I've had, like, my liberal friends in the last few months ask me if they can borrow ammunition. I'm like, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm a crazy white guy in the suburbs. I got 12,000 rounds and nine mil in the bunker under my house, but... You know, they want to borrow ammunition. Look, I'll give them the ammunition if they shoot certain people. Okay? <laughs> I, I say that because I'm hoping there's secretly a QAnon person watching this because I want to be a part of that, right? I heard some commie median talk about giving bullets to Antifa to shoot Trump supporters. Now, let's be fair. That is not what I said, okay? It's sort of what I meant, but I didn't say it, okay? <laughs> I know how legalities work. You know, too... To get through this year, I have been binge watching survival shows, okay? And first of all, I have some spoilers and tips for that. You know, that show Bear Grills, he never actually grills a bear, okay? <laughs> uh, deadliest Catch, they all end up with crabs, okay? And you know, then afraid, uh, they actually pixelate out all the nudity. And so I, I watch that show and I'm like, is that guy really that big or is it just because he's standing next to an elephant? You know, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> You know, the show I've been watching is something called Dual Survival, and it stars these two crazy white survivalists, and every show starts like this. We've paired Joe Green Beret, who's good at blowing things up and killing people, with Sam Filthy Hippie, who lives in a yurt and hates shoes. We're going to drop them on a tropical island off New Guinea with nothing. Can they survive for a week and not die? Well, first of all, it's a lie. They don't have nothing. They have giant knives, okay? The first thing the Green Bray does is make a spear. And the first thing that the Filthy Hippie does is carve a pipe so he can smoke out with Mother Gaia, you know? And then the Green Beret will turn to camera and he'll say, we have to prioritize our survival needs in this situation, okay? We have to get fire and shelter and food. I'm like, food? You need food? Why don't you ask the cameraman to use his radio to, you know, grub hub up a burger, you know? No. <laughs> no. Instead, the Green Beret ends up eating the hippie. And then says something like, you know, in a survival situation, sometimes you have to become a cannibal. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to understand that in this year, you know, because hey, it's been tough on everybody. It's been tough on comedians, okay? I, you know, we've had pandemics in the past in human history, and I've wondered, how did comedians get through those? You know, like, how did comedians do in the plague in London in 1665? I, I think comedians would have been something like this, okay? <clears throat> Hello, hello. Welcome to the cadaver.